Don't lose hope, fathers. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22, 6. This video is for those Christian's fathers who have children that have wandered from the path, children that you have raised, grown children that are not living a godly life. They are not living the way that you taught them, the ways of God that you put into them. And it's hard when you think about them and how they have wandered and departed from the path. Maybe you've suffered a lot of pain over this and you pray and you wait and you watch. Don't lose hope. Don't let yourself become discouraged to the point where you're ineffective, to the point where the pain interferes with the things that God wants you to do. It's hard because you know in your heart that you did train up those children, that you did give them Jesus Christ. You took them to church. You prayed with them. You had quiet times with them and you watched them grow. You saw the commitments that they made and the faith that they had. And yet at this current time, they are doing things that are wrong. They are dishonoring you and they are rebellious in their hearts to God. Remember, God is faithful. God is with you. He hears your prayers. He knows your heart. Trust him. Stay focused, fathers. Don't let the pain and suffering and the grief that you have over your son or daughter take you from the things of God that he would have you do right now, the people that you would minister to, other family members, situations that come by that if you're not alert and ready and have ears to hear and eyes to see, you'll miss them because your heart is given over to the pain. Stay focused. Let God use the circumstances in your wayward son or daughter's life to gradually or quickly, depending on the Lord Christ, draw them back to the way and the knowledge and the life that they know they should live because that's how they came up and they know that they need to return. Let God use their circumstances right now to move them to the position of returning to him and then returning to you. And let God help you use this pain and suffering over all this to draw you closer to God, to draw others closer to God, and to help these other fathers heal. Let all this bring glory to Jesus Christ. Don't lose hope, fathers. The word and ways of God which you put into your children will not return void. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1, 6. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Luke 15, 20. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not 
depart from it. Proverbs 22, 6. You see, because you trained him up, because he has the living God, Jesus Christ, in him, even though he's disobedient or she's disobedient, he will not depart from it. Believe God. Trust God. Know that God is at work and he hears your prayers. They will not depart from the truth of the living God inside of them. Don't lose hope, fathers. God bless you.